We're back for our last segment of Unemployment and Jobs with our experts Chris Rivera from Guilford Works and Wake Forest Law Professor Marie Amelie George. All right, this uh, question is for you, uh, Marie Amelie. My 17-year-old daughter lost her job due to COVID. The business closed. They denied her unemployment. Can you tell me some reasons why? Uh, I can think of two reasons just off the top of my head. Uh, the first is that um, your daughter might not have uh, earned a sufficient amount in wages to qualify for unemployment. Um, you have to, to meet a certain threshold before you're eligible for unemployment benefits. The other, op the other possible reason is that um, your daughter applied for state unemployment benefits instead of federal pandemic unemployment assistance. They are two separate applications and being denied for one doesn't mean that you are necessarily denied for the other. And if the business shut down because of COVID-19, it would fall under the federal benefits, not the state ones. All right, so should she reapply now? She should reapply for the federal benefits, assuming the, the threshold amounts that apply for the state are also apply to, to qualify for the federal one. Good to know. All right, Chris, this person says, are our self-employed people who qualify for PUA going to receive the normal amount of North Carolina UI benefits in addition to the federal $300 per week or just the $300 per week? Uh, great question. So if an individual is approved to receive the pandemic unemployment insurance, they are or may be eligible for up to $350 per week plus the $300. And the $300 per week is consistent with the state amount. So they would receive both. All right, this person is asking if I have not exhausted my benefits, but the remaining balance is less than 300, will I still need to reapply? It is my understanding that if an individual still had a balance, whether that be a dollar or $300, that their, their claim would continue under this new piece of legislation. And then they would then be eligible for up to the 11 weeks that has been passed, plus the $300 supplemental benefit. Okay, and just to reconfirm quickly, Marie Emily George, who gets this $300 weekly benefit? Uh, it is everyone who is getting um, unemployment benefits, whether they are state unemployment benefits or federal unemployment benefits. And they do not have to be COVID related this time around. That is the new thing for the benefits. All right, we thank you both very much for answering those questions. We thank you for sending in your questions.